And yo, what's up guys? Hope you're doing well. Having a freaking good day as always. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing uh, a week from Monday to Friday of what I'm going to be eating or what I've been eating, what I have eaten and what I'm going to be eating as well. Yes. <laughs> so obviously we started off the day on Monday, which is uh, two days ago, and I uh, started off with this absolutely awesome uh, buffet. So it was buy one, get one free. And it's only like the first like uh, 11 couples that got the buy one, get one free. So as soon as like the mall opened, we're like running, running with my flip flops and managed to rush and got to the queue and uh, we were like the 10 couple so we managed to get the buy one get one free so that's where we had our awesome uh, first meal on Monday which well, I'd done OMAD so I had the whole buffet for the whole meal so it was like a Korean buffet so I had a few more carbs on this one I had some like a like KFC style fried chicken and some topboki which is like a like the Korean sort of like um like a rice sort of cake and then loads of um, like vegetables and loads of like uh, pork and whatnot in the shabu obviously pictures are right here and uh, yeah that's all I had for the Monday and then I fasted for 25 hours sort of because on the Tuesday I, I, well, I technically broke my fast with a couple of uh, cream teas and cream coffees in the morning but I didn't have my first food until the afternoon which is when I had this absolutely awesome fried bread sandwich it was fried in like lovely load of uh, beef fat and it's got like a smoked pork and then cheddar cheese oh my god it's absolutely awesome and obviously yesterday I wasn't wasn't that hungry because uh, yeah, I ate so much the day before and uh, yeah I had that after the gym absolutely awesome workout then I went for a, a lovely sort of a killer walk slash shop and in the evening again wasn't too hungry and I just had these lovely pork ribs with barbecue absolutely awesome so yesterday was a super low carb day probably only had like 10 grams of carbs but then uh, this morning I woke up, I was feeling very sore and whatnot, a fibromyalgia, like muscle disease sort of problem. And uh, yeah, then I had some like what, paracetamol at night, some yogurt and a spoonful of peanut butter. And uh, yeah, managed to get that to sleep a few hours later. And in the morning, again, had some lovely uh, cream tea and cream coffee so far. And this leads us to right now where I'm uh, cooking a lunch. I've got some absolutely awesome sort of organic, free range, blah, 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 antibiotic free uh, pork chops, which I marinated in soy sauce and, and, and black pepper. I put that on under the grill now I've got some barbecue sauce on that there's the uh, sweet potatoes look see look hardly anything in there there's not going to be many carbs in there just a little a little bit on the side lovely fried egg and some um lovely uh, cauliflower which is not cauliflower it's broccoli I lied to you I do apologize <laughs> some cauliflower and teriyaki sauce that is lunch and uh, yeah check out my awesome box of shorts as well <laughs> and check it out guys I've got these absolutely awesome uh, lemon keto cheesecakes they're so freaking delicious so yeah stay tuned for a recipe and I'll, I'll make them uh, on a recipe video sometime in the future and uh, yeah just had that after the uh, the pork chop yesterday which ended up pretty much being sort of omad for the food anyway because uh, yeah I was pretty full for the rest of the day and that's all I ate I've just had a couple of teas a uh, couple of teas in the evening obviously with a bit of cream anyway that was yesterday's food yo what's up guys it is the yeah, yeah what's up guys it is uh thursday today and uh yeah so started off the day with um some lovely uh, cream teas and cream coffees as normal and i uh, felt a little bit peckish this morning so i had another sandwich with like the cheese and the um the smoked ham absolutely delicious the smoked port loin oh my god so good but i didn't fry it in the beef fat this time and i had that before the gym and then after my workout i uh, waited about an hour or so and made this lovely uh kimchi soup absolutely freaking delicious i love kimchi soup so uh yeah if you're interested in the recipe i'll put the video up here as well so you can check that video out afterwards and uh, yeah really healthy for you lots of uh, good bacteria for your intestines and everything with uh, the fermented uh, kimchi after that I had uh, this uh, sort of like a pan proteiny pancake I made like some protein powder egg white powder eggs some cream and cacao powder as well cacao powder absolutely awesome jam-packed with minerals in there absolutely delicious so I just uh, fried that in a little bit of uh, oil and then sprinkled uh, some uh, erythritol and some uh, cinnamon as well because cinnamon's great for you and yeah that's what I've had so far today and I'll catch up with you in uh, tonight's meal cheers Okay guys, so on Thursday I decided to have a little walk or a long walk to de-stress because I was a little bit freaking peed off from earlier and um, yeah, the picture's here or here, I don't know, I don't know which way the freaking picture goes but yeah, that was my walk, around about 7 miles, so quite a good walk When I got back I had some like uh, roasted sea bass which I had some Bernays sauce on and a side of like uh, the broccoli stems and some mushrooms as well so that was my evening meal and for dessert I had a little bit of this absolutely awesome toasted sesame keto ice cream it's absolutely freaking awesome, stay tuned for a recipe because I'll be doing one sometime, sometime in the future. And uh, yeah, there we go then, guys. That was my Thursday. Catch up with you tomorrow, Friday. Technically last week, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so Friday. Yeah, what a terrible, terrible day. So I am, um, yeah, my fibromyalgia was feeling quite sore and I was feeling a bit sore at night. I managed to get to sleep. But then I woke up at half past 12 in the morning and yeah, that's pretty much it. Half past 12 I woke up, so I only slept like a 
two and a half hours and that, and uh, I was feeling absolutely terrible. So, uh, yeah, I couldn't bloody sleep, watch some TV and everything. And uh, then got a little bit hungry, and I ended up eating a whole tub of uh, fromage blanc. Fromage blanc, picture not available because I threw the pot away and ate it already. And then I was a bit hungry again, so I had a spoonful of more of peanut butter. And yeah, in the morning, um, yeah, feeling pretty hungry, so I ended up having a peanut butter sandwich. And then I ended up eating uh, the whole sort of uh, liver and gravy for um, uh, like pre-breakfast. So yeah, I had quite a few, uh, obviously the cream teas and the cream coffee. So the calories uh, that day were a little bit higher than I wanted. So obviously not good for cutting, but when you have a freaking disease and whatnot, sometimes it's freaking hard. And sleep is like the most important thing to get in if you're trying to lose weight, by the way. You must sleep well to help you lose weight, because otherwise you're freaking ghrelin and leptin or signaling is all over the place and you freaking just want to eat, eat, eat. So yeah, anyway, um, yeah, I didn't go to the gym because I was feeling absolutely freaking terrible, unfortunately. And yeah, so sore. I took ages to get going. And in the afternoon, I got a, uh, we got some lovely reduced uh, pork loin and I'd done it three different flavours. So I had like a barbecue, uh, like a Middle Eastern one and uh, a curried one. And at lunch, I had the barbecue and uh, the curry one. We were like a micro salad, which is absolutely de delicious. And in the evening, yeah, I had a, another pork loin, the uh, Middle Eastern one, which I had with a lovely creamy avocado so good avocados are awesome get them in and a little side of uh, napa cabbage and some mushrooms and again in the evening i ha also had a um, the rest of the uh, keto ice cream absolutely delicious and another one of those awesome lemon keto cheesecakes so yeah stay tuned for both those recipes and there we go then guys that was my week of eating monday to friday okay to totally random this is not something like like eat every single day i change everything so so much so stay tuned for all these different recipes all the videos of eating ones and whatnot because everything is different totally different to most other people on keto so make sure you follow subscribe write something in the comments and uh, yeah follow me on instagram follow me on uh, twitter and reddit as well and uh, yeah there we go then stay tuned for the next video not sure what it is yet but you're not gonna want to miss it and check out some of my other videos of eating right here as well oh yeah take care and stay cool thanks for watching